Hey guys, my name is Captain Peter. Once in a while, everyone has a thought. What can make a biggest explosion? So, to get the answer, we have to do science. Everybody hear that E is close to mc square, which means energy is directly promoted to the mass, which means that mass can be changed into energy. For example, while burning wood, it must convert into energy. The mass convert into energy is very less. 1 gram of mass is equivalent to 9 into 10 to the power 13 joules of energy. The atom bomb which was dropped in Japan in Second World War convert 10% energy of its mass. So if we can fully convert mass into energy, it will release a lot of energy. So to make a biggest explosion, every mass has to convert into energy. And that's where the matter and antimatter comes. Many scientists believe that everything in this universe has its anti like a mirror image for example matter has antimatter and energy has dark energy everything in this world is made of matter matter is everything bed atom molecule organ book laptop phone iphone food etc matter have positive charge in center and negative charge orbit it in antimatter is opposite the negative charge is in center and positive charge orbit it while colliding different matter, it make a huge explosion. Every mass is converted into energy. The energy conversion is 100%. One gram of antimatter can cause an explosion which can wipe out the city of London. One billionth of a gram of antimatter fitted in the tip of bullet can cause an explosion enough to destroy a tank. And a coin size of antimatter can release the energy enough to make a rocket launch from Earth to Mars and come back. So you might think why don't we make more antimatter then? Well it's hard to make antimatter. Even making 1 gram of antimatter can take time up to thousands of years in the large Saturn collider. So in conclusion, antimatter and ma matter can create a biggest explosion.